Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Exceller. This video is on this week will be on uh, Power Query. So this is the video which you know you can see I have made a power uh, query and converted into a fiber table. So I have made a data cleansing and if you just open this and I showed you how to do these steps. If you have not watched my this previous video, please go and watch it. And in last video, I just told you that if I if I select a wrong database, wrong wrong data, if I make this into a text, and if I make this, uh, uh, this is already a text. So if I if I do some sort of mistake, how that affects in the report and how you get frustrated and panicked and uh, how you get lose hope and all this stuff so i want you to be very careful in selecting any data so i'm going to show you some tips uh, tips and tricks also so this is the way i can select one data but if i select all the columns and here i can do for all the things in one shot so here i can set one time but if i select go select here three and any number of columns and here I can in transform I can change into whatever form if I want so these are some tips and tricks I'm giving you before starting this video so you can see already this is been an error so be very careful in trying to do those things and be very very careful before getting into the database so you cannot you don't have to panic in the errors so let's remove this so now you can see this is my first run comparison to and uh, if I close this, I have 604 rows. But I want to duplicate this. So you can duplicate this and you can if I'm going to make this three in the beginning so I can see that. And this is run a third round. And here uh, you can see that uh, there is some formula which many people you know try to comment that i don't want to type any formula or any formula so i don't want to use this formula is there any way easy that i don't want to write these things and i can just follow the steps but writing something any formula with logic is a nightmare so people complain on this and that so i say we don't have some sort of shortcuts you know you should be very 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 careful and very very you know intelligent it's not a big intelligence it's not a big rocket science a simple formula which nobody can understand if you have been in university education or in high school education also so let's see what i can then i'm going to remove some of the columns and i'm going to show you the consequences if the formula was not written what would actually been happened so uh, I'm going to step delete step by step so we can see that I'm deleting this set. So now I have removed that also. So you can see it's in from 640 to 999 rows. So it's a very lengthy one. And now if we go and load this, you can see the difference. So I'm going to make this only into a connection in the beginning. So just want to see how it goes. So it's a connection. But if you want to see the load into a file table. So you can see I'm gonna make a new worksheet you now and you can see what here. So you can see six hundred and four and one thousand seven ninety. It's nearly three one, one it's nearly three times more. So if you just if you cannot write a simple formula, this is the thing that's going to happen. We will be in a big issue. So one it's one third of what you're having here, and it's three times more than you're having here. If you remove a simple formula, so that again will be a very, very lengthy database and uh, there will be a lot of zeros and va values which are not actually required. So, some sort of, I can help you some sort of, uh, some vast around if you're not good in formulas. And I'm going to see that if you go to load this into a data model. So, once you add load this into a data model, how this is going to help you? Oh, before that, if you don't want to add this in the data model, let's uh, make a pivot table and uh, let's see how lengthy this formula can take you also. So, so I'm going to 
do the same way and let's see how long it's going to take you know, and I'm doing a column when I'm doing a site I'm doing a service I'm doing a description and I'm taking the first year I'm taking the second year I'm taking the third year and uh, I think all the elements have been covered you know so if I want to go to see the last column and see so you can see it's going around 617 lines, 617 lines, 617. So previously I think this was around 540 and now it is going to be 617. So you can see it's nearly uh, 540, 60, 70, 77 lines extra you have been, you have been added. So uh, and here also one third and here also you have added a lot of things. Because of this, selling one formula, simple formula. Now, if I load this into a data model or Power Pivot, so how is this going to help me? So that is my, that is my question. Then we'll see. Let's say OK, and nothing will move off. Now, when I'm going to Power Pivot, let me just see manage. I want to do that really. So. So if I, the power over here is I can go to the end and I can see till the end. So you can see 1790 was the total. So I can see. But the power query, I'm limited. I have to scroll down and uh, on the one button power query. I can see the last operation also. So if you don't like to have a formula, you know, it can be very deceptive. But uh, I'm going to show you how to write the third year formula in a simple way. So we'll write this as a three year power total, power total. So it is actually not required, but I'm just making this, you know, uh, for some understanding. You know, so that you know how to use the, or how to write a formula. Here it is like you select the whole column. So first write a equal to, and then you come here and Get the whole row. Let's go again. It's an equal to, and you can you can start from here also. I want to go another way. So. Plus, sorry, plus. So let's move on the one. Plus, sorry, plus. And let's go to this. So I'll be uh, removing this one. And there's apostrophe. Button enter. So you like to do from the beginning. You know, it's, it's quite boring. But if I get this first round quality first year, and I make a plus, and I go for the second year, and I make a plus, and I go for the third year, and I hit enter. There are a lot of empty rows over here. So you can see blanks, and uh, what you can do is remove the blanks, first of all, and uh, see if you have any zeros and all. So it's already 1798. So if I remove this, and uh,
Let me remove this formula. I don't want to use this formula. So here, if I think I can remove some blanks. So let's see where it's going to end. So you can see 603. So before, if I if I had this, if I had this blank, so it was around 1,798. So you can see. 1,798. 1,798. So the formula which uh, was uh, was giving you issues. So you can remove that formula and you just go load it into Power Five Words and remove this blank. So you don't need to write the formula now. And from this now you can do this into a Five Word table. So already we have there. You can say okay, and you have things ready now. So, so let's see how this is going to happen in there. And let's uh, let's let's go for the big ones. So it was uh, supposed to be 617. Now. now let's see where we stand actually. So it's quite quite better now. So you can see now it's 538. So in the previously it was 617. So 540. So 548. So just the difference is difference between these two is there was a formula in this one. And that formula was this one. But if suppose you remove this formula and uh, you wanted to do something in a different way, so if you go this, go here, you, you can see that that formula was removed. And you don't want to write that formula. And uh, I was having a query. I was getting a comment that I got email that. Uh, I don't want to write the formula, but still I want to manage this in 604. I don't want a big lengthy one. So if you want to get by this, just simply you have to do is load to and load to this into a data model. Once you load into a data model, then go to the data model here and uh, okay. it's in some middle of the action. Okay. So once you go to data model here and just you have to do is select this and remove blanks. So it will save you 1200 lines and you don't need to write a formula. But again, uh, I want to show you how to write that formula because interrupting me. So I'm having little issues in this. So I'm going to select this total first here. And plus, I'm going to make it go to the total second year. So total first year, total second year, plus the total third year, and I'm going to hit enter. So the third year total, so I'm going to make this into. Yeah, I'm gonna hit enter. So you can do this from here also. If you you can do from Power Query also, you can do from Power Pivot also. And you don't need to save this. And uh, you can see it's already 538. It has been reduced. And uh, you can go to field and. You can see the three year total also has been here, so if you can just add it, so you can get the three year total also. So, I hope the tips and tricks and uh, saving one formula and um, making things more easy. So, 
So the same thing I made in a different pistol way and uh, we got the result almost same. So I I would like to prefer you to you know keep working on in power in power query is my personal suggestion. But if you're not good in writing formula, you can have uh, always there is an option. So always there is a second option. And that you have to do is you have to go load it into uh, data model and go to uh, power pivot and from there you can manage. So what I did is just I moved there and from there I just removed the blank and after I removed the blank I added a total and, and as simple as that and I got the answer which I required and I have both the options and the answers are almost the same. So I wish you find this video useful and uh, I would like to see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. Please hit the bell icon. Please uh, give me your comments. And uh, if you need any improvements and suggestions, please do let me know. And if you have any better ideas, also please do share with me so we can make our lives more easy and simple. And uh, we can learn more new things and new strategies to be something different. So, thanks for watching. And I wish to see you in the next video.